Hey guys, what's up? Um, we're gonna do a tutorial on motion tracking with After Effects and Cinema 4D. Um, I can show you what we will make. Uh, let me see. Uh, it will be something like this. Uh, so basically what you have is like a 3D cube or something. You can basically get any object you want and motion track it uh, we're gonna do that with After Effects and um, Cinema 4D. So let's get started. Um, first we're gonna open up After Effects. Um, you need a footage file for this, so something to track, uh, like anything will work basically. I really like the motion tracker in uh, After Effects, the camera tracker. Uh, so let's make a new project which is uh, command N or control N and just make it full HD uh, so 1920 by 1080 pixels uh, yeah I'm in Europe so I do a 20 frame, 25 frames per second yeah okay cool so we have a composition here and you see the camera tracker here if you don't see this um, you can go to window and check the uh, Um, okay, so what we'll do is uh, import your footage file. I have one here, uh, so let me use this one, for instance, and just drag it into a new composition. Okay, so the next step what we need to do is um, motion track this, sh this shot. So what we'll do is like hit track camera. You have a bunch of options here, right? I'll show you this first. So uh, you have the track point size, uh, which basically says that the render track points that you will see uh, the size of it. So if they are really small, you can uh, increase them. And you also can choose to do a detailed analysis or uh, from a 2D source. We're gonna leave it like this. I think this works fine for this shot. Uh, if you have any trouble um, with your shot to uh, track it, just try to change these settings a bit and play with it a bit so you can get the right settings. So I just hit analyze and now it starts analyzing. Uh, well, the shot has 344 frames, so I'll be back with you in a minute when it's finished. Alright, it's almost done. Like I said, I really like the camera tracker from After Effects. Also, you can also use other uh, camera tracking uh, uh, software like Buju or uh, you can use the Cinema 4D uh, motion tracker for instance. But I think for this shot, uh, this will work. Okay, so what you'll get when it's finished is like all these little track points as you can see. So what we're trying to do is like, where do you want... Um, your your object to be on like I want it to be on the table here for instance so I choose all these track points here and you see there's a circle around it uh, which basically says like this can be a solid or a null object for instance which will track to that point uh, so what I'll do is like I right click my mouse and I say create solid and camera and I hit OK so if I move forward in time now you can see that the shot is tracked perfectly. Okay, cool. Uh, so the next step is basically just to go into Cinema 4D. Uh, one, uh, one thing first is like if you were working on a previous version then After Effects CC or CS6, you probably don't have the plugin which Cinema 4D provides. So uh, what you will need to do then is go to the Maxon website, uh, download the plugin, it's free and it's for earlier versions in After Effects. For everybody who is working on CC or CS6, uh, you can basically do this. Um, just go to uh, composition, uh, let me see, wait, where is it? Uh, you can go to uh, export, Maxon Cinema 4D exporter. Okay, cool. So what you get now is like, uh, yeah, you can save the file as a Cinema 4D file. 
So we're gonna do that and we call this motion tracking tutorial save. Okay. So what it basically does is send all the data into um, into uh, Cinema 4D, which can translate it back to After Effects, but we'll get to that now. Uh, okay. So yeah, this is Cinema 4D, so what we're going to do, we're going to open up the project, uh, which will be here, Motion Tracking Tutorial, I'm going to open it. Uh, yeah, what you will see now in the Cinema project is that everything is actually already tracked. You see, so you hit play. So basically what it means is like, if I put something on here, like a cube or something, um, we can use that in After Effects. And that's, uh, that's pretty nice. So I'm gonna make a cube. I'm gonna move it. Let me see where it is. So it's over there. We're basically just going to move it till it has the right place. So it's in good place here. Boom. And let's scale it up a bit. So now you can place it like this. Just really trying to make it as clean as possible. The solid is just for uh, reference, just as a guide later here you can see it. So yeah, it works perfect I guess. Uh, okay, so we can also get rid of this one so we won't see it. And now if you play it you see that the queue will be there. So we're gonna save this project and we're gonna call a motion tracking tutorial version 2 for instance hit save and we're gonna jump back to After Effects and import the project. So here it will be motion tracking tutorial v2 import it and now it's gonna import the composition. The awesome thing about this is that if I drag it in here, it will be automatically in place, as you can see. So you get rid of the solid, and basically this is the whole shot. Well, this is the plugin which you need. It's Cineware. Uh, yeah, it comes with TS6, I believe, and CC uh, normally. And uh, you can download it for free if you work on previous versions, as I told earlier. Uh, just render it, hit it on standard, final. And basically now you have the shot. So. The cube will be in place. Um, well, yeah, basically this is it. So that's the motion tracking tutorial. The awesome thing about this plugin really is that if I make, a, uh, for instance, a material like this, and I give it some transparency, and maybe like this, and a different color, Maybe bluish. And you can even put like reflection maps on it and stuff. You just save the project and in After Effects it will automatically update as you can see. So this works really, really well. I don't know much about the uh, ambient occlusion, renderer stuff and all. I don't know if it takes that data, but at least I think this works pretty good. And uh, you can make a nice scene with it, I guess, and you can just tweak it a bit, fake it a bit, and, and make it really nice. So uh, yeah, I hope you learn a bit from this tutorial, and uh, see you guys next time.